My name is Kevin Dupay. Um, I'm one of the reserve managers here in Newport Wetlands, working for the Countryside Council for Wales. Okay, so my, my job title is uh, reserve manager, and I'm, I'm one of several reserve managers who work here. My main role is managing the reed beds here. Um, so we have projects like f uh, fish introduction to encourage bitterns to breed, mowing the reeds, uh, scrub control on the reed beds. Uh, also, I lead on the, the sort of visitor infrastructure, infrastructure side of the reserve, so getting the bird hides put in, making sure the paths are resurfaced and things like that. Uh, guided walks and events, helping organise the open day. Uh, and then a lot of monitoring, so monitoring the water levels, salinities, water quality, uh, and I help with the bird monitoring, so counting the birds in the winter and the breeding birds as well. What I really like about this job is um, you know, the wide variety of different things I have to do, uh, but also it's like the unexpected, so when you go out, say on the wet grass, and you don't know if you're going to see a hare or an otter, a fox, a bird of prey like a marsh harrier or a peregrine falcon. So it's the unexpected side of the job and the, and the wide variety of it that I enjoy. The reserve is run in partnership with RSPB, so they run the visitor side of the uh, reserve, particularly the, the visitor centre, the car park, and the education side of it. So they run the school visits here, and there's about 3,500 school children come here every year now. So that's a very important part of the work here. Wetlands are vital really for the health of the planet and the environment. So they help regulate water, control flooding, uh, they help purify water as well, particularly these three beds we've got here. Um, they also lock up in peak condition a lot of uh, carbon which otherwise go in the atmosphere and increase global warming. So apart from that obviously they provide habitat for wildlife and a place for people to come as well. It's a totally man-made site really, so it's unusual because most nature reserves are fairly natural. But this reserve before was um, an industrial site where we are now, part of the power station. So it was used to dump uh, fly ash from the power station, millions of tons of fly ash, produced by two coal-fired power stations over many decades. Um, and they're basically there were reeds planted here to create reed beds. And then the rest of the reserve was farmland which was turned into wet grassland and saline lagoons. Um, so all these been managed in terms of controlling the water levels, water quality, managing the vegetation by grazing or cutting, uh, and also we try and control things like disturbance as well. I think there's a lot of people come here, it's, it's increased dramatically over the last sort of 10 years. Uh, I think they come here because it's mainly, it's on their doorstep. So it's sort of two mile drive from the city of Newport uh, or a bus journey or cycle rides, and people have got all these footpaths to walk, they can see the Severn Estuary, see some wildlife, and I suppose the most important thing in this economic climate is all totally free, so it's even free parking, so it's a free day out, but uh, you know, it's a chance to get out in the fresh air, see, see a beautiful landscape, see some wildlife.